Hey guys, it's Mewtwo is strong and welcome to the next part of my Densetsu no Staffy 3 walkthrough. In this part, we'll be finishing up this sixth world of the game, Flamer Volcano. Hmm, this is where we get to meet Sancho Daddy. Alright, so let's go find Sancho Daddy's children, the Chibi Sancho. Hey, no, don't be invincible. It's not nice, only I can be invincible. After getting hit. Is this a bell? Ah uh, yes, I believe we're supposed to do something with it, but... Wait a minute. Ah yes, I remember this now. We're supposed to push all those up, but I kind of messed up right there. Because the top one is not... Oh, okay, We now we get to switch to Stappy. I kind of messed up though, so I don't know what I'm supposed to do about that later when we get there. But we'll just have to see. Wait, oh, oh, no. Oh, don't push me back. I'm the one who hits you. I mean, come on. This is a video game. The laws of physics aren't supposed to apply. And we found another one of his children. Okay, let's see if I can actually do this now. I probably can't because I messed up. I can't wall jump off of these things. Oh, lame. 
Yeah, this might be... Yeah, this could cause problems. Wait, can I make it up there? Oh, no, I guess I can't. I'll just have to switch back. Okay, now that we've got them all correctly aligned and we can actually make it up there now, let's make it up there, obviously. Oh, come on, don't just jump randomly or use your spin attack. There's, like, such a difference between the two. There we go. Now we can make it up here. Woo, that only took me, like, six minutes. That's, like, a record. I bet that is a world record. Wait, what? That door is still locked. What's going on? Oh, wait. Ah. Oh, no. The lava's rising. Better hurry before it gets to the top because hmm, you don't want to know what happens when the lava reaches the top. That just bad stuff. That's all I'm going to say. Bad stuff might happen. And now lava coming from the side. Oh, yeah. What's next? Lava coming in from the top. Here's we're done with the mean. Oh, nope, no, we're not. Oh, here comes the erupting volcano. And oh, no, stop hitting every enemy. Where's the. Where is it going? I don't know where it's going. Oh, I saw it. It was way behind us, though, so. That's not very effective. Wait a minute. Is there something up here? Ah, oh, yes, there is. But it leads to nothing. Oh no, the return of the magical shooting water. And now we're here. Wait, no, I want these. Oh, uh, wait, what am I doing? I can just go back up and get them. Ha <laughs> ha! Just a second. Sorry, someone just decided to randomly start vacuuming, so I paused the video for a little bit. But now they're done, so let's resume. Alright, let's take on the Flimmer Volcano bosses, Amanbi and Gaumaran. 
Oh, whoa, what's going on? And how? We, and we attack them by hitting them below his volcano. Pretty much. Okay, whoa. Ah, no, what? Oh, you are not doing that. You jerk! No, I want to hit you. I'm not going to let you go through another attacking cycle without getting hit. Well, that was short. Okay, just one more. Can I do this? Okay, what is he doing? Oh my gosh, that is mean. Like, none of it's... Okay, now it's starting to reach us. What if it missed us? Oh, it wasn't even like close to us, but whatever. Okay, now you're doing that again, and fairly avoid his attack. Fairly? Yes, that's a new word. I just made it up. Okay, let's end this. Yes. Alright, so now we can take on the seventh world of the game, a Goblin Ocean Trench, which, eh, might as well at least take on another level. Whoa, what the? Oh, it looked like we could talk to them for a second, but it went away. Ooh, secret dialogue, maybe? Nah, probably not. Come on. Okay, fine. I'll just go the way you're supposed to. Oh, no. Make it. Come on. Thank you. Oh, man. I hope we'll have to do a lot of that. So let's see. Oh, yes. I'm willing to bet we will have to. Oh, oh, yes. The dark areas are back. I really miss those. But thankfully we can hit those guys over there and they will brighten up the area again. And yes, Mo, I've already talked to you about the matter, so let's not discuss this again. However, thankfully with the way I'm recording these videos, I pretty much get a little cheat because I can still see the room. Even when it's dark. Ah, uh, come on. There we go. I see a sign. Are we going to learn something? Oh, yes, we are. Chuan is this guy's name. And now Chuan lets us use his trusty submarine to get around places. And by pushing the A button, we can make it brighter in our area for a short period of time. Okay, whoa, make it bright again. Thank you very much. Wait. Okay, now we're ready. I can't see this with my cheat. Oh, they they went around that, I guess. In some areas, at least. 
This saddens me. Okay, gotta get those pearls. Oh, no. Crud. Oh, wait, no. It brings us down anyway. Whatever. Ah, no, go back up. It's very odd. The way I see it, the screen gets all purple when I enter these areas. But when I... Oh, it is more purple. But it's really purple from the way I see it. How am I missing all of them? Oh my gosh. Precision is the key. Don't get crushed. I do want these pearls though. Okay, let's see. Can I make it? Okay, yes. Good. I did make it. No, don't fall for the trap. And now we're done. And that is all for this part. In the next part, we'll be taking on more of the Goblin Ocean Trench. Thank you for watching. Bye.